Hi there, I'm out and about again. The Land Rover, as you can see, my mobile studio seems to have lost its roof. But this was the plan all along. I wanted to have a nice open space that I can paint out of the back of, have a kind of mobile studio. So uh, as you probably know from previous videos, I've been abroad for a little bit uh, on holiday. I was doing some painting and uh, I seem to have brought the weather back with me. So that's rather nice. That was a bit of luck because I was expecting to come back and it'd be kind of all gray and rainy. Um, and I might be a bit of, uh, have a bit of trouble with <laughs> not having a roof on the car. Um, my long-term plan is to get a canvas roof that I can sit in the back here, roll up the side so I can see, see out over the fields or wherever I'm parked up, paint out of the back like a mobile studio. But I haven't got around to doing that yet, but I have got around to taking the roof off. So luckily the sun's out, it's lovely and warm, and I can just use the uh, base here as a, a platform to paint on. So, you know, I've got all sorts of plans for this. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I've just driven a few miles from my home, found a nice little place to park up. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to look out here, do some painting, take it back to the studio, do my usual thing with tearing up and collaging and all that kind of stuff. So hope you enjoy watching it. Don't forget, if you still want to sign up for my online workshop that's in October, you can do that. And if you want 15% off, you can get that by joining my online membership group. It's completely free for the first month and there's no lock-in period, so you can leave it any time if you don't like it, but you still get the discount for the workshop. So if you're interested in that, do check out the link that's here on the screen. Okay, let's get on.
Okay, so <laughs> that was fun. It's actually pretty warm out here, so I uh, lucky I got my sun cream on. So <laughs> yeah, I mustn't forget to do that. I was looking up the lane here. It's not really what I intended to do uh, when I got here because I was looking for something a bit more open. And that's initially why I parked up where I did. But I think that's actually quite a good lesson because I think when you go somewhere to do some painting, you have an idea in your mind about what you want, what you want to get out of it, the sort of thing you want to paint, but that doesn't necessarily match up with what's actually here and what's interesting and what you find interesting. Because as soon as I got here and I started painting, I was looking out over here, but when I actually started painting, I was looking up the lane and there's all these really contrasty shadows of the trees across the lane and I'm getting the shape of the lane moving up and away from me and I wanted to get some of that movement in there and those were the shapes and the contrast and the colours of this very super bright green and that's why I was using all that yellow because I was, it was the closest thing I could get to a really really bright green so I was trying to uh, fudge it a little bit and try and get something bright but the contrast was there and as I was saying this isn't what I intended to do but it's what I found interesting when I got here so I think wait for this car to go by give me a smile <laughs> he's talking to himself what's he doing um yeah so i think that's a good lesson you know that you you go somewhere and you have in the back of your mind what you're going to do but you don't want to preconceive your paintings you need to look and observe and see what's actually in front of you that you find interesting, not what you think you might find interesting. Don't try and force yourself into doing the painting that you think you should be doing, when actually there's a different one in front of you that's just asking to be painted. So, like I said, it's just a bit of fun. I'm throwing the paint around as I normally do. I will just react to what's here, get some marks down on the paper and think about it afterwards. Before I go, don't forget my online workshop is coming up in October. You can still sign up 15% off if you join the membership group, which is free for the first month, no lock-in period, and you can still get the discount. So if you're interested in any of that, please check out the link that's here on the screen. Okay, I'll see you soon.